Zeus in the hangar in the tower. He's currently selling the season of arrivals armor set. This is pretty dope armor. That being said, I do think the season pass armor is better. That being said, we are going to be seeing some seasonal ornaments coming into the store, which are coming back. I don't know how they're going to do it. They're most likely going to sell it through, through monetary means, but they are doing that. I'm going to make a video explain a little bit further because they did it, talk about it in the twab or twit or whatever. So pretty cool. Uh, definitely pick up some of these pieces if you like them. I think the hunter helm is really cool. The cloak as well. The chest piece as well. The arms unfortunately have white pieces that don't change color, which is very unfortunate. And the boots have this armor piece in the in the right side that I'm not a big fan of. Uh, Warlocks, I'll be real with you, I'm not the biggest fan of a lot of it. If anything, I think the helmet is cool. The boots are definitely worth it. Definitely pick up the boots. The bond doesn't change color, specifically the V. And I think the chest piece, the ribs, like I think that part is really gross. And Titans, I don't think any of those are good. I'm going to be real with you guys. I'm not the biggest fan of the Titans. I think the chest piece can be used. But other than that, everything else, I'm not the biggest fan of. So let me know. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. I definitely, like I said, definitely think the helmet for the hunters and pretty much everything else aside from the arms and the boots are really cool. Warlocks, if you heard anything, just pick up the boots. The boots are legitimately one of the best ones in the game. If you want to go for like a casual look because they are just regular boots. As for the weapons, we have Icolos hand cannon. Uh, this is a web. Yeah, so this is a red border weapon that you can pick up to uh, get your mat your border picture. Icolos hand cannon. This is a red border weapon. So if you want to progress that you can definitely do that and it has aerosol and adaptive munitions i'm not the biggest fan of that gn7 rifle grave robber and and rampage which i i think is fine death adder dynamic sword reduction and range finder which is wild i would have liked to see have seen this like before the range finder nerf came in because i do think the range finder nerf basically fucked up everything um or at least the, i don't know i think astacross made a video definitely check it out Sweet Sorrow, Stats for All, and Tap the Trigger. This is also a red border weapon, so if you want to progress that, definitely pick it up. Tripwire Cannery, which again, red border weapon. You can definitely pick this one up. What is this? Tarantula. Uh, Archer's Tempo and Frenzy is not a bad perk combo. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of Frenzy, just never really liked it. We have Tarantula with Pulse Monitor and Wellspring, and then Sail Spy Pitch Blast with Impulsive Reloader and Multi-Kill Clip. This also is a red border. Four red border weapons being given up from Xur, which is pretty interesting. And then we have Hawkmoon with Killing Wind. We don't have the other one because it is currently available through the exotic mission right now. And then for the other stuff, we have Crimson, which is really good. We have Graviton Forfeit with interesting... You know, this is... Mm, let me see. I think I have mine right now. Hmm... Mm, okay okay let me i might pick it up you know what yeah let me do this real quick i'm gonna pick it up because uh that the combo is really good mm, i don't really care about high intellect on my graviton the one that I currently have so i'm definitely probably gonna pick it up let me see um i have another graviton in my whatchamacallit apparently um is it good Ooh, it is good. Okay, so I have two Gravitons that I'm going to be going through. We have Synthoseps. Oh my god, that mobility is way too high. And then Starfire Protocol with mobility way too high as well. Again, if you don't have any of these, definitely pick them up because it's better to have, have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Let's see what I get. Hopefully I get something good because uh, I Omnioculus. Okay, that could be interesting. Um, let, me, let me go. Let me go. Let me go over here. So a few things to note, um, I'm making content right now, making a lot of content actually. Uh, I'm going to be editing this one and then I'm going to be working on the seasonal armor for Season of the Witch, which I already have it all. I just have to uh, record me doing the actual review because I already have all the armor, all of it's recorded. So we will be working on that probably today and tomorrow. I'll probably finish it up by tomorrow and then the shader video as well. Let me see. Ooh, mm, that's that's pretty good. That's that's pretty good. Uh, I kind of fuck with it. 
So I, I just have a bunch of exotics that I haven't like gone through because uh, I hate going through exotics just because in my head I'm like, I don't know if this is good. I don't know if this is good. So this Omni Oculus at 26 resilience though is pretty foul. I'm, I'm kind of liking it. And the fact that like recovery and strength is at six doesn't really bug me too much because like once you master work this, it'll be eight, which is semi one. Um, yeah, I kind of fuck with that. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up as well. I'm really excited for the future because I have so much content that I've been going through. Unfortunately, I did lo lose a, a bit of footage because if you guys don't know, um, one of my hard drives died, the one where all my OBS recordings are in. So that was really unfortunate. That being said, I have both out a lot. Like I already have all of the armor for the season of the witch, uh, specifically the seasonal armor for all the classes. I've already made all of the individual sets as well. So I literally have a lot of footage to go through and we're going to be working on exotics as well because people, two people have asked for two exotics, which I'll be working on that as well. So a lot of content I'm going to be going through, but I'm really happy because that means I'm just going to be super, super busy. So. And we have a new raid, or not new, but it's the reissued raid for next week, which is going to be super fun because I will be hosting them in portions like I did for all of the other raids. So I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Be safe. I will see you guys later.